Okay, now that we've talked about what some of these symbols are, the less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, equal, not equal to, um, let's try and use them combining with order of operations to see um, whether statements are true or not. Here we have a statement that says 9 times 3 minus 11 is less than or equal to 16. Well, we don't know whether that statement is true or not until we've simplified completely and we can look at a number versus a number. So let's look here at this left hand side and see if we can simplify that sum. We have multiplication and subtraction as our operations. Multiplication comes before subtraction so we do 9 times 3 which would be 27 and I'm going to recopy everything else. Now we still need to simplify more here on the left. 27 minus 11, that would be what, 16? So now we have 16 is less than or equal to 16. As you're going through these, make sure that you say the name of those symbols. It will help you in, you know, really learning them and getting them in your brain as to what those symbols are. And this is, in fact, a true statement. But not, uh, you know, 16 is not less than 16 but it is equal to 16 and as long as one of those is true the entire statement is true. So this would be a true statement. What about this next one? This one's a lot more complicated. We want to know whether all of this is greater than or equal to 3. Well, we need to simplify this left hand side first and remember when we're talking about a fraction the numerator is a grouping symbol and the denominator is also a grouping symbol. So we're going to have to work several steps here. In the t numerator we have to work our parenthesis first so that would be 3 plus 5 times 3 over now here I'm just going to recopy the denominator and then greater than or equal to 3. Now Again, in the numerator, we don't have any more of the grouping symbols, but for the numerator, we have 5 times 3 that we need to do before the addition. So that would be 3 plus 5 times 3 is 15 over. Here in the denominator, we have 2 times 4, which needs to be done before the addition. So 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1, greater than or equal to 3. Now we're down to just addition, so 3 plus 15 uh, would be 18 over 8 plus 1, which would be 9, greater than or equal to 3. Now it's a whole lot better, but we're still not done. We can do the division now, 18 divided by 9, which is 2, greater than or equal to 3. Now we can tell whether this statement is actually true or false at this point because on the left hand side the 2 is that greater than 3 well no it's not that's not true 2 is actually smaller than 3 but what about this part of the symbol if the equals is true then the entire thing is true also well 2 is not equal to 3 so both of those are false. It's not greater than and it's not equal to. So this entire thing is a false statement.